Every cyclist out there loves to talk about parameter accuracy, but heart rate monitor accuracy is actually as important, if not more. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cycling content. In today's video, we will take a deep look at the full lineup of heart rate monitors from Polar. We will unbox them, see what are their benefits and test them. I'll finish my video with my recommendations if you should consider their HRM as your next go-to sensor. Before going to the products, let's discuss why it's important to monitor your heart rate. Heart rate monitors are a good guide to help you gauge the level of exercise intensity. It defines which zone you can train at. For example, when doing base miles in the early season, you want to stay in zone 1 or zone 2 for long periods of time. And when doing high intensity and sprint trainings, you want to go into zone 4 and zone 5. I will not go deep into heart rate data science or how to train with it, but here's a nice graph that explains the zones. I personally use my heart rate data on every single ride and it's the one metric I am always looking at for planning my next move in the group ride or the race. It tells me if I can go for a hard pull, it tells me if I should skip a pull, it tells me if I can attack or if I should play it safe. So heart rate accuracy is a huge asset for me, way more than power when it comes to strategy and racing. Power is great for training but I usually never look at my power output during a race unlike my heart rate. Let's now have a look at the full lineup of heart rate monitors from Polar, starting by the H10. This is their new top of the line chest traps for cyclists and all the other sports. The heart rate is measured by ECG or electrocardiogram. By using electrodes, they can detect small electrical change that are a consequence of cardiac muscle depolarization followed by a repolarization. It can then accurately calculate every heartbeat with the proprietary algorithm. Polar claims that the H10 is the most accurate heart rate monitor on the market. The claim accuracy is within plus and minus one millisecond. The battery life will last 400 hours of training, which is definitely a long time. It's waterproof up to 30 meters and use both NT plus or Bluetooth low energy connectivity. A great feature of the H10 is that you can pair it to two simultaneously Bluetooth connection. I'm not too sure what would be the best use case for road cyclists like me. I personally only pair my heart rate monitor to either directly to Zwift when training indoors or directly to my head unit when training outdoors. But it's a cool future-proof feature to have. There's a great use case for triathletes if you want to pair the strap to your watch or to your head unit at the same time. Another great feature is that the H10 is also updatable, so it will keep improving from software updates over time. This sensor has a built-in memory for one training session, but I don't see where there will be a use case for World Cyclist as we always use our head unit. For the strap's construction, I'm really surprised on how comfortable the Pro Strap is. Comfort is a must for chest straps, you have to put it and forget it. Its soft textile material feels nice to the skin with enough slip prevention silicone dots to really keep the strap in place. Retailing at $129.99, this art rate monitor is definitely on the more expensive side, but it offers top of the line accuracy and reliability. In my opinion, it's totally worth it if you are serious about cycling or any other sports. Moving on to the little brother, the H9. It offers most of the similar feature of the H10, such as 400 hours of battery life and ECG measurements. It removed the dual Bluetooth connection and has no built-in memory. Two features we don't really need as road cyclists. The strap is also scaled down from the Pro strap. Slightly less flexible and slightly thicker, it still feels fine and comfortable. The buckle is also replaced by a hook system, which I find okay. At $79.99 is definitely a well priced along other HRM on the market. Let's now take a look at a completely different art rate monitor product, the Verity Sense. Released in 2021, this new arm and temple monitor offer a lot of great features for triathletes, not so much real world usage for pure road cyclists. It uses optical monitoring, so by shining light from an LED through the skin, it is able to measure how blood vessels are scattered. With their proprietary algorithm, it can then detect a heartbeat and transmit it over NT Plus or Bluetooth. The Verity Sense has a battery of only 20 hours, but is rechargeable over USB. It also packs into memory up to 600 hours of training so you can record your workouts and sync data afterwards. 
The Verity Sense is also great for swimming with a water resistance up to 50 meters. Putting on the armband is easier to slap it on than a chest strap, but that is no big deal. The Verity Sense is still a great device for literally any other sports as you can mount it anywhere on your body. It only needs a firm grip to your skin and also packs an updatable firmware. The retail price is $129.99. All right, it's now time for me to take those heart rate monitors for a ride. So right off the bat, I don't really see why a road cyclist would use the Verity Sense. We already have enough things to charge, so that 20 hour battery life just doesn't cut it for me. Also for outdoor usage on long 3 hour rides in the sun, having an armband is definitely a great way to have funny looking tan line. Now debating between the H9 and the H10, well they are extremely similar products, simply some minor improvements on the H10 for an extra $50. Is it worth the extra money? I don't think so. I feel the basic H9 gets the job done and it does it well. Alright, that's it for today's though. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. I have a lot more cycling content coming in the next few weeks that you don't want to miss out. In the event you want to put your hands on the art rate monitors from Polar, there will be links in the description down below for you to check it out. My name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.